Welcome, thank you for coming today. Thank you. So I know you're working for the BRG, Indonesian's government um, agency working on peatlands. Um, can you just start with why peatlands matter? Yeah, uh, Indonesia consists of, you know, uh, 14 million hectares of tropical peatland. And this uh, peatland ecosystem is very important in terms of uh, providing uh, timber, non-timber forest product and other ecosystem services. We are considered also as the, the largest tropical peatland in the world, so that's why very important. And this ecosystem is also very important to control water and because it's considered as a water tank, so that is very important for us. Can you tell me a bit about the Global Peatlands Initiative? I know it's just launched. How did it come together and where is it now? Right, so Indonesia participate as a member of this Global Peatland Initiative because we see this a very strategic global initiative in order to promote the sustainable and wise use of our peatland and also to share experience, uh, lesson learned from other countries that have a similar problem, similar management of uh, peatland. So we can share all this kind of lesson learned, we can share all, all of this kind of, you know, uh, positive things about managed peatland in sustainable way and wise way. And since the initiative was launched, um, what has been achieved? Has there already been some lessons learned from these other countries? Right. So. For example, uh, uh, in May this year, Indonesia hosted uh, the second uh, Partners of Tropical Peatland, uh, uh, second Partners Meeting of Global Peatland Initiative. And we've been discussed a lot at the time with a couple of countries like Peru, DRC, Congo, and other countries to discuss about what kind of lesson learned at the moment that every country has, including Indonesia. We share a lot about our experience of doing restoration of the gridded peatland and also doing this kind of peatland management in sustainable way, prevention, fires and so on. And by share this experience during that meeting and countries like the RC and Congo where they go really fresh uh, tropical pit swamp forest and I really want to to learn about that from Indonesia and I heard recently uh, Congo government already established like a peatland restoration agency or whatever something like that in their country so this is a good good thing uh, one of the result of, of this uh, uh, second partner meeting of GPI and the second result of that meeting actually we want to establish a steering committee for this uh, of this uh, global peatland initiative, and the main task of this steering committee actually to guide the members of this initiative about how technical issues that we can address together, how we can share all this kind of experience, uh, lesson learned that we have every uh, from every members of it. So right. today, I think we also try to have this first steering committee of Global Peatland to discuss further about the function task of this uh, steering committee. Uh, President Jokowi has already said he's really investing in, in preserving and restoring peatlands in Indonesia. What has your experience been in just seeing the change in the government's attitudes towards really putting this as a priority in recent years? Yeah, I think our president uh, is really serious about peatland restoration in Indonesia because a couple of years we, we have a really bad experiences about these fires. For example, in 1997, 1998, 2002, and then the last big fires in 2015. And this cost us in terms of economics, in terms of social, health and so on. And this is very bad for the economy. For the, for the social, and that's why our president, Pak Jokowi, really serious. We need to do this uh, peatland restoration in order to avoid again this kind of social economic cost that we burn. You're here today at the Global Landscapes Forum. Um, BRG took part uh, with UN Environment launching a new report on peatlands. Um, how do you see government playing together with institutions like UN Environment to come together and try to make some? change in, in the way peatlands are managed? Yes, I think these are really, I mean, strategic uh, cooperation, collaboration, because, uh, you know, peatland, in particular tropical peatland, especially about restoration of it, is still very new, you know, and by this 
you know, publication of this uh, report, I think is very good for people to understand about the, the you know, the understand about the peatland itself, uh, driver of degradation of it, and then problem impacts of it, and then how to manage it. So this, this uh, new report, I think, is a good start you know, in order to compile all this kind of problem, potential of pillar function, value, source of degradation, drivers of deforestation, impact of it, and how to manage it in sustainable and wise use. I think that that, that report uh, provides for everyone. Yeah. I wish you all the best with this big and important mission. Thank you. Thank you for your time.